Well, thank you to our three speakers, Raimundo, Ruben, and Juan Luis. Very interesting. I think that in our scope, TPP should be down cascaded to practical experiences for any kind of company, small, medium, or large size companies in our area would be medium size, I think. Well, now that we are with these round tables that are working so well in the afternoon, I would like to do something that is out of the common. Every time a firm enters, we sign a membership contract. All of you have signed this contract, and we do not have like a big protocol, but due to the importance, even when all of you are important, but due to the fact that we went beyond our continents, our oceans, I would like for this sole occasion to make public the signature of an affiliation contract, and which is very important, and this is the Belarus members. You may say in Spanish is Bielorusia, but they say Belarus. So we would like, before all of you, to hold the signature of this contract. And I insist any contract is as important, but it is not the same to come from 10 kilometers away than coming from 17 hours of a distance by plane. So I will ask our Belarus friends to come to the front and sign this contract. Dennis and Biatlana, Sviatlana, please come to the front to sign this affiliation contract. Pueden venir al frente para firmar este contrato de afiliación. podemos comenzar a firmar. Usted firmará como socia. Esta persona no está aquí, pero él firmará después. Lo que hacemos en México es lo siguiente. Debido a protocolos legales, se firman con rúbrica todas las páginas. Una rúbrica, nada más. Por favor. Rúbrica en cada una de las hojas y firma al final de estas. So now we are going to sign three signatures. One for Belarus government, another one for them, and another one for them. I should say something very important. It took about three months to prepare this contract because there are two important events. Because of the continent that they are at, it's Eurasia. Some of you may say it's Europe. Some of you may say it's Asia. But it happens with Russia the same. So they normally should affiliate to UC CS Global, but when they uh, saw the statistics of international accounting bulletin, they said they did not want to affiliate Global, but the Americas. Why? And I'm going to mention this because UC and CS America, it's a network. And the difference between a network and affiliation is quality. So due to requirements and what they have with their customers, they wish to belong to a network, not an association. This is just a side comment. But for them, 
the membership to UCS America, America, it's important. And I say this because some of uh, them have uh, taken out the UCNCS America has been removed. So we were consulting with juridical, commercial, consultants and a lawyer in Chicago beyond the aesthetic terms. That's why we did it like this. Those of you that have taken out the Americas, that's wrong because we are not standardized. We cannot check movements of everybody. This is not the objective. But when you are taken out is the America, what you removed is a quality stamp. And that's the most important. So please consider this, that there's a reason for a design. Do not believe that we design from our gods. But we think by analyzing, assessing, and waiting. Uh, so they are signing a contract with UC and CS America. This contract took three months because we analyzed clause by clause. We had a review. Oscar Veras, would you say a Raso? Thanks for the support. <laughs> We will hand out the B review report related to quality and work papers of two audits, a hotel and another government company in Belarus. In addition to the contract reviewed, it is in three languages, Spanish, English, and Russian. And we also consulted with specialized translators, so there was a whole process behind. That's why I wanted to mention this in three languages, because all of us have to understand this. So let's continue signing. So this was just a clarification.
This, the affiliation contract is signed. Con esto se firman los servicios de Audicom en Belarus. So welcome. Para nosotros es un placer haber firmado el contrato con México y estamos contentos de pertenecer a la red de UC ANSIES América. Gracias. Gracias por su hospitalidad, hospitality, hospitality. Gracias por su hospitalidad. Bienvenidos para hacer negocios en Bielorrusia. Gracias. Sí. The second part could be the review report. This report, I'm going to tell you what this is all about. It is divided into two parts. First, in summary, because there are five pages, the review report addressed to whom it may concern. The report is made up by two parts. The revision of the quality system manual of Auricom service, you'll see, and then the independent audit practice of Auricom service to customers, a customer called Dobrada LLC and Misk Hotel, which is an important hotel in MISC. The first part says review control of Auricom services LC and the review is carried out by the quality lead
líder of UCNCS America, Jose Barrazo. Uh, we have first the introduction. This is a small paragraph indicating the scope of this review, and it has some words in Russian, so to prevent any confusion. Oscar, please come to the front because we are going to hand out the quality report. I am just summarizing this. This first part, as I said, describes the quality system and it, Joseba explains introduction, review, scope. Of course, there are several topics that had a lot of attention. First of all, is that the manual that they had from the quality system was so complete, as complete as the one that we provided. Therefore, the only thing that we requested them is to make small changes. So both manuals were standardized in the quality system. This action was completed. And of course, they reviewed six quality elements according to the uh, standard ICSQM from IFAC. And the accounting association requests for the same and also the government. To give you an idea, this is an office of about 15 persons, one partner, one manager, three audit supervisors, three fiscal uh, fiscal supervisors and some auxiliary staff and also accounting and payroll outsourcing. Half of their work comes from the government and the other from the private sector. So we reviewed the presence of formats and forms, questionnaires, and the conclusion took about one month for Joseva and Oscar. I really thank them because we will need all of you. So the network works, we need the participation of everybody. As a result of this review, we should conclude and indicate the following according to the uh, quality manual of Auricom service. It includes all the points included in the quality standard. It has a different structure compared to UC and CS America, but comparable in the major points. Number three, it presents some forms used to provide evidence on the processes even when they are not matching completely with those that are used in the UC and CS manual Americans, they are compatible and comply with all quality aspects. Finally, the quality uh, control manual, according to the review, taking into consideration the best quality practices as well as guidelines, policies of UC and CS America Common Network, we concluded that the quality system presented by Auricom Services LLC is adequate in terms of contents and requirements of the quality manual of UC and CS America for its members with uh, an adaptation that was already in place. So we conclude the first part and we're going to sign this now. The second part prepared by Edgar Veras from the Dominican Republic, PTV, talks about the revision of two engagements, as they are called. The, the Obrada Limited Liability Company and also it has an introduction talking about the reviewing framework in Belarus. The international audit standards are not mandatory, but the local standards almost coincide with international standards. This is mentioned by Oscar in the report. And it says that responsibility of the firm audit comp service in this engagement was to perform an audit to express an opinion on the financial statement as how to perform a procedures review agreed upon procedures. And it was review what is normally reviewed, the account, the balance account, losses and gains, uh, p &L, changes in capital, changes in the flow and notes. Ad additionally, in the review uh, procedures agreed, 13 aspects were reviewed, the legal, accounting, fixed assets, 
invest, long-term investments, uh, accounts payable, a series of things were reviewed, including costs of the company. The scope is the review performed was carried out according to USCS America policies for the existing members or process that would like to be members, taking into consideration the audit, uh, international audit standards for financial statements and also for the reviewing of previously agreed procedures. Our revision was to review the financial statements and their work papers and also review the report of previously agreed procedures. In this sense, we proceed to review all the paperwork of this audit that support this. Even it was reviewed the software. I will give a couple of minutes to Oscar so he can explain it. The software of audit was reviewed, which is in Russian. They translated everything into English, and this is how we reviewed it. As a conclusion, as a result of this review, both of the audit of financial statements and the review of previously agreed procedures, we conclude that, that there is no ma uh, matter, this is a phrase we thought a lot with uh, Franklin help, there is no uh, uh, any matter that makes us think that the financial information of Dobrada LCS, it is not expressed according to the local audit standards applied according to the Belarus legislation, which are similar to the ISAS, the International Audit Standards. The, the report of Audit Com Service includes a non-qualified opinion about the figures that integrate the information of this company. In the same sense, we concluded that the revisions of previously agreed procedures include observations, findings, hallazgos, and recommendations according to the best practices of audit and according to the right responses to the agreed procedure. So at the end of the day, what is worth is the last paragraph. According to our revision and taking into account the best practice of auditing and the policies of USCS America, we consider that the audit of financial statements and previously agreed procedure carried out by Audicom service to the information, financial uh, information, financial information of the data was carried out applying the technical procedures. It was signed on September 25th, 26th. This ended yesterday, last night. Signed by Oscar Veras, who is the, the partner in charge of the review, and Jose Barrazo, the leader of quality, and myself as the president of the firm. So with this, this is all. Let's sign it. So I would like Oscar to talk about how this was executed. Mauricio has summarized in a very effective way the report that we issued about the reviewing of Audicom service, which is the firm that our dear brothers represent. I'm not going to dwell on what Mauricio mentioned, but the mechanics. We under, we had an understanding, and this is like a reviewing practice in the firm, and all the reports will be like templates. We understand to the firm, the structure, how is the structure. They have a partner, Mrs. Balana, Dennis, who is the manager, how many seniors they have, their income, from which line of service they come from, if it's audit or taxes or consulting, any other the line of service. This is in terms of the structure, but also as a second element, which is equally important, is to know the technical base on which the firm performs the engagements in order for us to evaluate and reach a conclusion, and if they have a right practice. If they are under IF, IFRS, the in, uh, International Standard of Financial Information, or ISA, the audit inter uh, International audit standards. They are under the local accounting standards and are also local audit standards. But they are exactly the same, almost exactly the same to the IFRS and the ESA. So this allowed us to 
to have this uh, work. And uh, we review each role, the cash accounts, accounts receivable, fixed assets. We have all the balance accounts, all the P&L accounts, and also the, the agreed upon procedures. We also reviewed them. And of course, we concluded that they have an effective practice. At the end, what we want, apart from congratulate them for the uh, great work to have a standardized work with these templates for the reviewings of prospects uh, in our network and the different firms that are part of us. I hopefully this will help. Well, I'm going to explain them. Ya terminamos los reportes y te le estamos dando si necesitan tres ejemplares de estos para que los puedan utilizar como ustedes lo requieran. Entonces, well, I congratulate you. And we need to continue with this, and this will give us like a, a, a boost. We must not forget this. We need to continue with the situation. The first thing we need in the back that you received, there are many things. Probably you haven't seen them, but we're giving you a self-assessment evaluation of your quality system. Please answer it. Each, if you're complying with the quality according to your own quality manual, and mainly we need a monitoring report that you carry out of your firms. The second partner review. This is the monitoring report, so we ask you to send us the monitoring report because based on this, we will be selectively have our quality audits. What the forum of signatures of effect, not to have audits for the sake of it. I'm going to Dominican Republic, and then I will go to Monterey. No, this is not how we want it. What they call the Global Coordinating Quality Program is first, all of us will send the quality manual adapted. Then you have an annual self-assessment, and then you will have the monitoring. Based on that, the central quality team integrated by the quality committee, in this case uh, made uh, by Josera and Oscar Joaquin Vega, which is the chairman of quality committee, they will select some engagement, this is how they call it, and they carry out an audit that, like this one, well, the ideal is to go there. Our friends from Belarus ask us that next audit will have to be performed there. So we have to take the plane. Yeah. Okay. Well, so I'll, I ask you to take this very seriously and prepare this and to start with the process, not to stop the process. Even though several Latin American countries have this implementation of quality standard has been difficult, Mexico, it is supposed that made progress. It's not that, uh, uh, well, that it is like in paper, but not in practice. Uh, but it doesn't matter if this is demanded by uh, the federations or institutes. We're going to do it because this seal of quality of the firm uh, should exist, must exist. Thank you very much. Let's go to the next topic. Muchas gracias. Okay, what happens is that 
We have at 7 o'clock our coffee break. Then we will have a talk about foreign trade in TPP delivered by Mrs. Echel. And during this remaining 20 minutes, I would like to cover two topics. One is to give you a short report. You know that there's a short and a long report. I'm going to give you the short report of the company. It will take me 10 minutes. And our webmaster, which is Adrián Núñez, will present us the new sites, websites of the firm with the new technology. In few words, we already have our app. Like the young kids said that we're going to uh, enter this app, we have an app of the UCCS. It is a responsive site, but this will be covered by Adrian in 10 minutes. And this 10 minutes, I will show you a short report taking advantage that we have broadcasting and translation. And on Wednesday, I will give you the long report with all the details. But I don't want to, to I want to cover this. Well, Miss. If you can put us the U U.S. and C.S. news short, and then I will, I will give the mic to Adrian, um, and we will talk about the new technology we have. Okay, go ahead. The report is quite longer, but for practical purposes, and not uh, bore you. Like in summary, is uh, what I call achievements and challenge, because at the end this matters. What we have achieved, but what we are uh, missing. This is an elegant way to refer ourselves to challenges. So let's go to the next one. Oh, well, figures, cold figures, figures are cold because where we are lawyers and accountants and we cannot move away uh, from numbers. I don't know if you review your bag and we you check your bag. We, we made a big effort to ask the International Accounting Bulletin. We asked at 60 magazines of the World Survey that contains all the statistics of firms. We used to send them by email, but we thought that for you is very useful to for a customer to say, I am in a world firm which is in this position. It is very valuable for you. So the cost was high. It was a trip. It is a the, it, it costs uh, three times more, but it's important like for you to have the original magazine. You have the recent world survey that was released in January or February uh, of this year. Uh, we have the, which refers to 2015, and Latin American people were given the Latin America survey. I don't know if you checked it already, and you will see the position. In Latin America, after the big four, we are like the the where we are next. Well, but at least we want to be there, and this is where we are at. Uh, the the Franklin picture is really good. Yeah, we have Franklin picture there. Of course, of course, you. So in Latin America, we are the number one association as an association. As network, we are number five. We have 115 members. Those data do not coincide with the magazine because I updated them, like up to date. Well, I have just presented the Latin America survey right now, like um, two weeks ago. 
Okay. Well, in fact, they asked me all the countries, and I should say that not all responded. It is important to highlight that many of them responded, but many of them didn't. It is very important, believe me. So in order to have a good place in the magazine, that all of us must respond. Many, many, do, not, many do not respond. If the reason is not to increase the quota, it is a huge mistake, because what we do is we damage the group. We need to report this because this is convenient to us, regardless of everything else. So there are 115 members, 184 officers, which is a lot. Well, n neither Deloitte or Obama have so many officers. This is a local joke. Probably you don't know, but we have 2,206 people. According to what I have, to what I have reported, I'm sure. They have reported. I'm sure we are 3,000. We are auditors. We know how to measure an organization. We are present in 17 countries with 242 partners, $180 million of dollars of revenue. And we are ranked, well, what happens, International Accounting Bulletin in Latin America consider us as association, but the World Survey considers us as network. This is what attracted uh, this is what attracted to our friends they don't want to divide the company into two things like in the local service but in the world service this is recognized if you want we can move to the next slide please okay how we are in UCCS Global with $185 million, 126 members, number 23 networks, 198 offices. We are ranked in 20, as an as a number 21 association, 258 partners, 2,334 staff, and 50 countries. There are 20, 27 directly plus 12 from an alliance in Asia plus 11 correspondents. There's a typo over there. I'm sorry, the correspondents are firms that are not affiliated, probably because they are very small. Nicaragua, for example. We have a correspondent there. The firm is very small, but they have helped us in many projects, and Carlitos will help us in some projects. And the same thing happens with Honduras, but in Guatemala and Salvador, we have presence in all the rest of the countries. So this is the position. We can move to the next slide. Well, we are, well, the achievements and challenges. What are the achievements? And I go back to the same thing, the information that you provided. The achievements is that in this year, we know that 270,000 projects were referred. And those projects that we know of this year, and also are projects that come from previous years and continue. And for the purposes of this, the session, there are firms, and I know lots of them, when they say, I'm going to count only what happened in the year, but what was referred five years ago and generates the revenue, it is a referral. This is how it is known. The real matter, because I have to say this, that this figure is not the right one. I'm sure that at least it's twice as much, but probably what it is hard for us is to fill out the form that is called cross referrals that we have in our refer projects manual and they ha it hasn't been filled out. If we do not fill out this information, we cannot know it. We know, I know perfectly where our work references, but if the form is not filled out, I cannot guess how much it is, who referred it, and who received it. And the only thing is like, we will do is to play with figures which are not real. But this is real. At least this is real. So I ask you to be aware because the challenges, I will give you a very uh, strong challenge. Well, the strategic alliance that we have worldwide, you need a firm in Vietnam. We do have an alliance in Vietnam. You need a firm in Spain. We also have an alliance and in many others we have a direct, uh, we do it directly. This year has been a very good year in terms of growing outside America. We have an, one firm in Italy, in, in, in 
Cyprus, Greece, Italy, Dubai, now our friends from Belarus, uh, the ones that we have in Hong Kong and China. It's been a growth uh, year, year of growth outside America. We have the invitation to be a member of the Forum of Firms in, the, in January of 2018. So uh, a year ago, we, it depended on me, but we depend on your willingness. We, de we depend of a decisive will, not thinking if the Mexican Institute of Mexican Accountants is demanding it, uh, the School of Accountants of the Dominican Republic is demanding it. We need to do that because stamp of quality has a value, and this is a decision that we need you need to take. It is not in part of my scope. If you decide if you want to have this quality stamp, a real one, we can do it. But this is a full decision in all senses, professionally, in terms of time and money, because it costs. Okay? Now, we want it or or not? This is the most important question I want to address to you, and I want to ask you this on Wednesday, and I want you to answer very honestly. We can say no and at, yes, and at the end we don't do anything, and this happens in Mexico. If you say yes, you, you will do it. If it's no, we lose a lot. We lose a lot. And we lose what we have already earned. Well, of course, it is everything that we're doing is very valuable to have all the taxes of every country, doing business in every country. We have a new corporate brochure that you have already available with a map with all the countries, with the corporate directory. You have the one that is updated. The quality manual for members, which is an achievement. Believe me that there are many organizations when they don't receive this, and you don't know because this is going to be delivered to you on Wednesday. We have developed a marketing manual for members of the firm. More than marketing, it is a public relationship and communication manual that indicates how the firm should communicate to its customer, the membership, to make the firm grow and have public relationship. We have it in English and Spanish. So we completed the five manuals available as part of USCS franchise, because this is really a franchise that is not charged as a franchise, but it, it performs as such. It has an audit, which is in the process of being translated into English, because we wanted to have it available. We have a, a corporate image, like in any other franchise, in Spanish and English. We have the quality manual in Spanish and English. Now the marketing manual in Spanish and English. And I missed one. I think I missed one. Please remind me. Son cinco manuales. Es auditoría, calidad, imagen corporativa, Mar mercadotecnia. Me falta uno. Bueno. Okay. Let I I I will give you all the details on Wednesday. And of course, we have software for you. We have software for internal control software, audit software, which is in progress. It has to be completed, and Adrian will show us today or Wednesday, I don't know. We have just completed, like, not a software, but it's a tool for timing control in audits. We have this tool develop, developed in Microsoft Project, and we are going to give it to you. So this is a real franchise. The important thing is that we will feeling this in the blood, in our blood. If we don't feel this in our blood, we will not be able to carry out this. It is not like pay a f paying a fee to receive a brand. No, this is like the big change we need to make. I don't want to uh, take time because Adrian has to speak. What are the challenges? Uh, as a pending activity, we're going to have an affiliation conference. Conference is like a meeting like this one in Cyprus. As you all know, we opened UCS in EMEA, and we want under the association concept, not yet as a network. We're not ready to be a network, but as an association, uh, we're going to affiliate firms. 
and the ones that want to be member of the association, the ones that want to be part of the network, we have to affiliate to global or uh, the challenge is to prepare to the forum signat signatures. We need to be aware of this. If we make this conscious, we act. To keep promoting members in the U.S., we have already two in the U.S., plus two branches in Mexico and a lawyer's firm. We are just about to conclude the integration of a firm in Miami and New York and another one in Chicago. Those are Latin firms. We, we are entering with Latin American people in the U.S., and we have a couple of networks in the U.S. for something bigger, so to speak, to promote transnational customers. And this would, it sounds really good when we say we're going to sell, but in order to sell a transnational company, the requirement is a network and to have the quality manual up and running. The, the transnational client would not want to treat with an association. Please convince yourself. Want to treat with a network that be shown like the quality certificate like our friends of Belarus has. Doesn't want a firm that participate in many meetings and lunches. They don't want that. It's to have a quality system. It's what they want. So it is so important because those people that I understand. There's people that complain because why do you have a five-day course and why a three-day meeting? Because in the blood we have the, to be a network. But if you told me that I would like to be a cl club, uh, I will give a half-a-day meeting, three lunches, two parties. Of course, I can do that. You tell me what you want. This is the most important question. I received many complaints because of this. It's lots of time, like taking a five-day course. I will tell you this, that someone told me. Education is, is expensive. How much ignorance costs? It's more expensive, okay? So the training for a network, it is the number one factor. The, the joint training, exchange of professional ideas is the most important thing. We can schedule, even if we schedule our holidays, we can schedule trainings. There's no problem. If we see that we have people from far away, if, if, if the person that is living here wants, so what? This person wants this is this is our own insight. Uh, this is like a, a food for thought. Well, the fact firms I have had many talks, five trips to New York, twenty meetings, and they told me because they came here with us and said all of, all of them are convinced to be a network. All of you, I will give you the authorization of a network member of the signatures forum. And they gave me many examples, and I have just seen one several days ago when in an association, not all of them want to want to be a network. Please don't get into trouble. This was the recommendation of the secretary of the forum when I went to see him in to London. Please don't get into trouble. You do not force them. Create two organizations instead and talk about the network, and you will live in the association the ones that would like to be the club of Toby. Sorry. Okay. So this is the big question that we need to answer. It takes time, it costs, yes, but the quality stamp, this is more this is more worth than the ISO 9000. And I have had discussion with ISO 9000 consultants. But this is more valuable than ISO. So please reflect on this. You need to decide individually, and you need to express what you want. Let's uh, make a formal survey with Survey Monkey, and you will answer. Of course, we are translating manuals to English, doing businesses. 
in one thing, something which I always receive a comment gladly. They say, why you don't make the meetings in a different place? Why not in Belarus, for example? Or why not in Brazil or Madrid? And I want to propose the following. This is a critic mass sense. Let's make a world a meeting when you consider three things. And I was thinking about these three nights, and I'm going to tell you the three more important to make a meeting in a different country. And I start with Peru. That would be in 2019. For a meeting or convention to be successful, we should have at least three or ten local firms. This warranty is success. If we have three attendants of each firm, then I have 30 persons. Is that clear? And if another 30 from Mexico, 60. South America, 80. India, Italy, we could have 80 attendants. But if I do it in an isolated place, if I go to, I don't know, Madrid, let's say. Right now, it would not be successful. We need a critical mass. We are talking to our Belarus friends. In 2022, they offered to make this yearly convention. So we are talking about getting uh, firms in nearby countries. Turkey. Cyprus, you will have a critical mass and you can take advantage of this energy, especially those that may attend. So this is a critical success factor. Number two, those of you organizing the meeting, you cannot imagine for the meeting of 2017, I have already started. I already have a draft agenda topics, times, speakers. Why? Because we're negotiating all year round with speakers, some of them back off. You can imagine what happens. We need to have backups, substitutes, etc. So any of you organizing a meeting, and I start this with our fellows of uh, Lima, Peru, and it's not because I like it. I think that it is a success factor. A year before their meeting, one of you, a person who's appointed by you, in charge of organizing this meeting, will come to Mexico and will stay with us a month, two weeks before the meeting, to see all the details. If I tell you the work plan, it's worse than an audit. It is even worse. So 10,000 details and everything needs to be taken care of. I would ask a person to incorporate the team if this is going to be on 2019, coming 2018, a month before here, to see all the details. I was talking to Virgilio. He was scared my goodness. And he said, yes, we can. But he never thought it was so detailed. Of course, you know how to make meetings better than the ones here. But these meetings have their special particularities. So this is the second requirement. And the third is that we need to commit Mexican partners. So at least half of Mexican partners attend for this meeting to be successful. I have to say, sorry, half of Mexican partners are not present today. Half of our partners are not here the day of the yearly summit, only 30%. For it to be successful, three things. Experience this, have critical mass, and Mexican partners need to be willing. And not to say that we have something else to do. If the firm is not the top important, what's the most important? I don't want to mean any offense. It is 
the truth. And I insist, if this is the Toby Cloth, it doesn't matter. Okay, sounds good. But if it is a network, we need to be a network. As those of us that were in the four big, they were managers, partners, etc. With this, this is very general. We will detail this more. So before our coffee break, we will go to this and we will have Excel.